the following formula extracts a case sensitive unique distinct list from column B. So begin with copying the formula from the website and double click on cell D3 and paste the formula. And remember that you need to change the cell reference and it's this cell reference here that you need to change. So if you enter it, the formula in K3, you need to drag this cell reference here and use the cell right above the current cell like this. And when you're ready, you enter this formula as an array formula. And to do that, you uh, press and hold both the control key and the shift key, and then press enter once. And you can now see that this is an array formula because you have curly brackets up here and one here. And don't enter these characters yourself. They appear if you did this right. And let's go back to cell D3 and enter the formula here again. Cell reference here. Press and hold control shift and enter. And to copy this formula, you simply click and hold on this black dot here and then drag down as far as you can. You see that the array formula distinguishes uh, values that have. Uh, uppercase and lowercase letters. So for instance, AA up here has an uppercase and then a lowercase a. And this one has both uppercase letters. So how does this formula work? Um, the problem with capital uppercase and lowercase letters is that the equal sign can't distinguish uppercase and lowercase. So for instance if I compare uppercase A with lowercase A the equal sign tells me that this text string here is equal to this text string here. And in this case, we don't want that. So to distinguish these two, we have the exact function. And the first argument is this one, and the second argument is this set. Now it returns false. These two are not equal. The next problem is that we can't compare this cell range with this cell range because let's see. That it just compares this cell with this cell and this with this, and so on. So it will always return true in the array. And to solve that, we need to use the transpose function. 
and I'm going to show you. I'm going to copy these values here. And I'm going to copy them into and now we have the same values here and here and if I use the transpose function I can compare these values and I'm going to use this cell reference arguments in the exact function and then enter it as a waveform and then expand the cell range so we can see all values in this way and now it's interesting because this cell here that represents the comparison between this value and this value since they are always equal, it returns true. And this is true for all values from here. They all show true. But the next one is interesting because in this cell here, it shows the comparison between the exact comparison between AA. And CC, and they are obviously not equal. But if we compare AA with uppercase letters with AA with the first letter uppercase, it returns false. So this array here is quite complicated. So if we go back to the formula and look at this again, it shows us that it compares the cell right above the current cell with this cell range here. And I'm going to delete these values. Enter that part of the formula here and copy this and the array in this cell D3 is this. So it tells us that all values are uh, are not been shown yet previous cells above the current cell and if we go to the second cell or D4 and copy that and enter it here and now there are two cells above so the array looks like this and the second value is a capital A and lowercase a and the formula extracts values that have not been displayed yet and in order in order to do that it uh, uses this array here and now it knows that this value and this value has been shown but the other ones have not moving on to the next step 
the if function that converts values or boolean values here to a row number, a relative row number. Here you can see that array. So now the formula knows that the values in row 1 and row 8, 1 is here and 8 is here. Has been shown. And then the frequency function counts the row numbers and returns an array. One cell larger than this cell range here. And this array here is very useful. The match function then finds first instance of zero, this array here. And to show you that, I'm going to copy the match function. And after it has an array formula. And now it tells me that the second value to extract is in position 2. It is this value here. And then finally, the index function returns a value from position 2 in this cell range here. 